Thanks, guys. So our editor-in-chief, Josh Jackson, actually um, first saw you guys at a songwriters shootout in Atlanta uh, in Eddie's Attic. Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, can you talk a little bit about sort of starting out? Did you do a lot of those starting out? And what was that like? Yeah. Actually, when we first started playing, um, that was, was that our first Gig ever? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. We we mostly <laughs> just did shoot out our uh, open mics just because we didn't have enough songs to play a whole set, so mm-hmm. we could just play two or three and yeah. get away with it. And Eddie's is a is a really wonderful place to you know insert yourself into the music scene. We started meeting a whole bunch of folks and playing with them, and um, it really helped us to grow as a band. Mm-hmm. So, does it change your approach at all playing a room like that where you know you know that it's a smaller room where people may not be familiar with your music or, you know, when you're first starting out, does that change your approach at all when you're performing or just... I think it makes you a lot more initially sincere, you know, Mm -hmm. like, because you want to give them, you know, everything you can. You're, you know, you're not just playing to people who are ignoring you and getting away with it, you know, like, you have to, you have to be able to appeal in a a certain way and Mm -hmm. um, I think that helped us to really identify with our music and ourselves mm-hmm. um, cool well yeah. what's this next song that we're gonna hear from you guys uh, this is one this one is a new one of mine called uh, shake up that's what we're calling it for now <laughs> All right. let's see it I've tried each shape I'm still locked out Outside the box Is where it lives Each time I see what It say about It changes again Another twist I'm right behind it Let me in to let
Thank you. <laughs> so um, I read you guys did some of your recording in a 200-year-old church. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, can you talk a little bit about that, what it was like being in that space and um, how that informed the music at all? Yeah, we basically found this old church. One of my friends, BJ Wilbanks, had recorded a, a little phone demo there, and I heard it, and it was absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and it just has, it had a, it's an old church from the 1800s, and it was um, acoustically just amazing. And we had, we brought a generator out there and kind of camped out for the day and recorded a couple songs. But uh, it was, it was an amazing experience, and I really, uh, thought you played differently that day yeah i i probably gave one of the most without sounding conceited the one of the most perfect performances of the that song do not destroy that we play ever and i don't know if it was because it was a beautiful place or if it was because you know like for at least 200 years people had been gathering there and like you know mm -hmm. Come old spirits were like with us. You could know. feel it. Yeah. It was it was definitely a cool feeling, and I don't really believe in ghosts, but um, there was an energy definitely. Yeah. It awesome. was cool. Cool. Uh, well, you guys have one more for us. Uh, what's this one going to be, and what can you tell us about it? Uh, this is a song that I wrote recently. It's called "Even in the Shallows," um, and it's um, in the memory of a friend who was taken too early by the ocean. Yeah. So, um I don't know. We haven't we haven't played it too many times to really know totally what it's about, but cool. We're excited I'm to happy hear it. With it. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Yeah.
Thanks so much, guys. Um, before we let you go, do you want to just tell people where they can catch you live, uh, where you're going to be on tour? Sure, yeah. So uh, tonight we're playing Rockwood Downstairs in New York. Tomorrow we're playing Brooklyn at the Jalopy Music Theater. And um, the next day, where are we going? Charlottesville, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be in Knoxville. Knoxville. And then we're going home. Awesome. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for being here, you guys. We thanks really for appreciate having us. It. Yeah.